So this is a standard lock cylinder, deadbolt or lever, knob. Pretty much the same thing for any lock. May come with a different housing, but it's all the same the way it works. The way we rekey a lock to take it apart is you take the uh, existing key, which is this guy right here, put it in, and follow this out with another tool to hold that part there. Then you have what is the lock there with what are the pins to make a lock work. So with this key I'm using now, it's the key that this lock is keyed to. When you push it all the way in, they sit flat. Now if you were to take a key, say that that doesn't work in that lock and put it in all the way, you can see that there's holes or pins that stick up too high so that won't allow that to turn. And that's all that makes a lock work. So if we wanted to rekey this, we would take this and uh, take those pins and just dump them out. Get rid of those pins. And we would take a new key. I'm just going to go ahead and cut one here. Different. Random cut key. It just shows the numbers there. You can see that that's a completely different key from the original key. And take that same cylinder. It's got no pins in it now. And we just put the pins that match with those cuts that I just made. I want to rekey that to a new key. See, I left the last hole empty because this is a shorter key than the old key. This is more of a standard key. So now I've got that rekeyed. And in the housing, there's other pins that sit right up here in the top that correspond. So I can go ahead and take the last pin out since I'm using a shorter key than the last key. But that's what matches up that hole in there. Take this new lock. That's the new key that works it. Take the old key. No longer works it. So now that lock's rekeyed. Let's put the tailpiece back on. Depending on the lock that it goes in, different types of tailpieces, different types of housings, but in general, that's how. The lock itself works. Once again, new key.